You're here to learn how to sharpen your mower blade, but more importantly than that, if you do this the wrong way, you can actually damage things like your spindles or other aspects of your mower. That's the last thing you wanna do, so it's important that you do it the right way. How would you do it at home? We're gonna show it using some of the tools we use here every day, but maybe you don't have those tools. We're also gonna show you how would you do it with some lower level tools, maybe the bare minimum, a way to get the job done. A brand new blade costs $30. So if you can sharpen your mower blade, save yourself some money, that's for sure what we wanna do here. So we have a zero turn mower. You could have a riding mower. You could have a push mower. So I got Jason, our lead technician here at Howe Equipment. All right, so first off, we're gonna use a jack. We're just gonna jack it up in the air so we can get underneath the deck. We're gonna to wanna to use some jack stands also, just a, a safety precaution. Um, what we would use to pull the blades off is just a half inch impact. Now these are probably held on by either a 15 16 or a 5 8 bolt. So you're gonna need a socket accordingly. This impact will pop these right off. If you do have one of these, you don't wanna install them with the impact. You wanna use a torque wrench to um, the spec that the manufacturer recommends. If you do not have an impact, there's a couple different things you can do. We've got a breaker bar. And even if you don't have a breaker bar, you can use just a regular Ratchet. All right, so you can use things like the end of this jack handle here, and you're just gonna slide it right over your ratchet. It gives you a little bit more leverage. I'm gonna put the, the jack underneath the deck here. When you do that, you wanna be super careful that you're not damaging anything, because I am gonna be lifting it from the deck. You wanna lift it from the frame here, but in order for me to get the clearance I need, you know, I gotta be able to get that higher off the ground. So we're gonna lift from the deck. You just wanna be super careful when you do this. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and place our jack stands. All right, now that we're all in place, we're gonna go ahead and try and get those blades off. If you don't have a half inch impact, we're gonna show you the way to do it that way. You gotta hold it and then put your ratchet on. It's almost a two person thing to like hold that there. I got my half inch ratchet with my 15, 16 socket. We're gonna put this board here in between the deck and the blade. And it's sometimes kind of difficult because you gotta hold that with one hand while you're trying to put your ratchet on with the other. So, and I've even got my, my jack handle end here so I can uh, get some good leverage on it. So we're gonna put that on there just like that. And if you've got a buddy helping you out, have him hold something. And there you go. Once you get that loosened up, then you can just hold the blade with your hand and work that bolt out. Okay, Jason got them off here, so now we're gonna go ahead and sharpen these again with the best tool and then maybe the tool that you have at home to do this. So let's go over to the back of the shop. I did a lot of research before I bought this machine. This is specifically made for sharpening lawnmower blades. If you look it up, it's an RBG rotary blade grinder that you can actually set the mower blade in here and it sets it at the absolute perfect amount of degrees. I think it was like 30 degrees. It'll tell you something different if I'm wrong. If you don't have this, maybe another really preferred tool would be a bench grinder. And then there are some other types of machines out there specifically for sharpening mower blades. So if you don't have that, you can use a blade grinder. I've seen people saying, don't use this, use a file because this takes way too much time off. Well, we've got not enough time to do something like that. If you use this the right way, you can absolutely use a blade grinder and it's a proper way to sharpen your mower blades. All right, so first off, you wanna make sure you have your PPE. I got safety glasses and earmuffs here. With this bench grinder that we've got here, the blade grinder, like Matt was saying, it holds it at the perfect angle and everything. You really don't need to do it. You just turn it on and run your blades through it. So I'm gonna demonstrate that really fast. Now this blade still needs a lot of work, but you can see that it just, everything is the same level, like it's working all the imperfections out. That is really the best way to do it. 
If you don't have that, however, I'm gonna show you the methods to use at home. So you're gonna to wanna to put this in a bench vise or something to hold the blade while you're working on it. And people frown upon this because you can't keep that perfect surface, right? You can't keep it all nice and straight, which you really want to. You gotta get it as close as you possibly can to nice and straight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out the imperfections just like we were doing with that machine. And then we're gonna keep make everything nice and flat, you know, and what you don't wanna do is try and grind on the back side of this. You want that as flat as can be or else your grass is not gonna be cut the same every time. So that's kind of the idea. You can see that it, it still needs some more work, but we're, we're getting it. As you're grinding, you can see where the, the blade is hitting, you know, and you want to make sure that you're hitting that entire surface or else you're going to be grinding in one spot, not the other, and it's not going to keep it flat. So Jason's done sharpening that blade, but I'll even say this. We do need to use an angle grinder when we don't have that perfect straight edge. Some mower blades are shaped differently and you, you can't run a, a mower blade like this through the machine. We did say as well at some point in the video, there's something even more important or as important as sharpening the mower blades this process. Otherwise you could damage your lawnmower. What are we about to do, Jay, and why? Why is it so important? So the last thing you wanna do after you sharpen your blade is you wanna make sure it's balanced. So to do this, we have a blade balancer right here. These are just magnets right here. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take your blade, stick it on there like that, push your magnet up. You wanna hold it nice and level and then let go. Now you can see what it just did there. So obviously this side here is heavier than this side. So we wanna work on that blade some more. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna to continue to grind off of this bottom edge here until that blade sits nice and level and doesn't go side to side. Now, another thing you wanna check is to make sure there's not clumps of grass or anything like that on here. So you wanna make sure your blade is nice and clean. Jay, what if they don't have this tool right here? What could they do to try to figure out balance? So it's not technically the way to do it, but one would say you could just put a nail in a two by four and hang it from that nail. You know, it's still gonna give you an idea of what, what side's heavier than the other and at least potentially save your mower. Now, Jason got these sharpened and balanced for us. We're gonna put these other mower blades on. Uh, how, how does that work? All right, so pretty much just a reverse process. You're just gonna put your blade on with your bolt through it. Now, we are not gonna use the impact. Um, you, wanna, you wanna start this bolt, get it snugged up, and we are actually going to, going to use a torque wrench. Now, um, for your particular mower, you're going to want to look up your in your manual. You know, it should have a torque spec in there somewhere as what they want you to torque it to. So we're going to go ahead and put these on. Now the last thing you wanna check is you wanna, after you get those blades on there, you wanna rotate these with your hand and just make sure everything spins nice and free. Link is in the description for all the different tools that we use throughout this. Hope that that helps you guys. Definitely follow us for more content like this, whether it be a how-to video or just information about mowers. We do ATVs, all sorts of things in the world of equipment. Until next time, we will see you.